Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today I am going to discuss one of the most important topics in higher mathematics from standard 9 and 10. The last class we have started the content from algebraic expression chapter 2 and we have done 4 MCQ from number 1 to number 4 and today we are going to start from number 5 and number 6 and in this content I will do 2 maths number 5 and number 6. So here number 5 if a factors of the polynomial x to the power 4 minus x 5x cube plus 7x square minus 8 is x minus 2 then show that a equal 4 and we know this is the standard polynomial equation here the maximum power or leading power of the variable is 4 and leading coefficient is 1 so we know the number of factors will depend always in number of power so here number of power is 4 maximum power is 4 so here we will get 4 factors within 4 factors only 1 factor is given x minus 2 is given and then using these factors just show that a equal number 4 so by using remainder theorems we will do this one like here number 5 number 5 uh, let consider here this one is a p of x equal to the power 4 minus 5x cube uh, plus 7x square minus a so when right here when x minus 2 is one of the factors factors of p of x then p of 2 equals 0 this called the remainder theorem so like x minus 2 is a factor then x minus 2 will be 0 x equal 2 and just putting here x equal to 2 with this result will be 0 and when x minus 2 is a factor so this is called the remainder theorem using this remainder theorems we will do now simple calculation here p of 2 so where you see x just place 2 now this one will be uh, p of 2 equal 2 to the power 4 minus 5 uh, 5 multiplied 2 cube plus 7 multiplied 2 square minus 8 uh, this one equals to 0 as far as remainder theorems so now this one will be uh, 16 uh, 8 40 this one will be 7 4 28 minus a equals 0 now uh, do simple add here uh, 6 8 4 uh, 8 14 14 4 carry 1 this one is 3 44 minus 40 plus a, sorry minus a equals 0 and now this one is 4 minus a equals 0 or minus a equal minus 4 eliminate minus from both side you will get here a equals to 4 and which was our requirement show that a equals to 4 so this answer will be shown so this is the number 4 we have done here this one using remainder theorems and similarly we will do number 6 number 6 is little bit different from number 5 but step by step if you do this one so it may be easy to you okay uh, first uh, attention to the question you have to understand this one then write the answer uh, suppose p of x x to the power 5 bx to the power 4 c x cube c x square plus bx plus a uh, this is a standard polynomial equation because if we consider here x is a, a variable then the maximum power second maximum power and third maximum power fourth maximum power and the final one this is the constant part there is no variable x that's why this is a standard polynomial what you see here 
and the coefficient are algebraic letter a b c c b and this constant is also a uh, that's why a b c are constant number coefficient of the variable and also constant but are mentioned here by a b c uh, first information another a is not equal to zero yes if we consider a equals to zero uh, that then this part will be zero then the first one will be bx to the power 4 so number of factors will be then 4 that's why the condition a not 0 that means the number of factors here 5 and if you write here sometimes a equals to 0 then first word will eliminate with 0 and and this one will be started from b and then number of power will be changed number 5 to 4 that's why a not equals to 0 Okay, this is our requirement. First information, if x minus 1 is the factor of p of x, this is the conditional maths, then another factor will be rx minus 1. So, this is the conditional maths. Again, I review it. If x minus 1 is factors, then rx minus 1 will be factors. So, definitely rx minus 1 is dependent with x minus r. When x minus r is factors, then rx minus 1 will be factors. So this is called the uh, dependent factors. And this is called r minus x is called independent factors. So conditional mass we can, yeah. Okay, first information, you can write this question first. Uh, given here, p of x, like p of x equal uh, ax to the power 5 plus bx to the power 4 plus cx square uh, sorry cx cube cx cube uh, plus cx square then bx plus a consider here this one uh, when first information when x minus r is one of the factors of p of x then what will here like x minus r equal to 0 then x will be r then p of r equal 0 and the using first information here now find the result of p of r right here p of r will be so uh, use r in place of x like a r to the power 5 plus b r to the power 4 plus c r cube plus c r square plus b r plus a and p of r equal 0 and this one is 0 equation number right here equation first equation number 1 so when r minus x equal x minus r equals to 0 then this one will be 0 the second information rx minus 1 will be the another factors of p of x okay start from the second part let rx minus 1 equals to 0 or rx equal 1 or x equal 1 by r uh, now, P of 1 by R equal, uh, use 1 by R where you see the variable X, that is variable X2 will be changed with 1 by R. So, A 1 by R to the power 5. If we write here 1 by R 5, this one will be A to the power 5 equals 1 to the power 5 equals to 1, r to the power 5 equals to 1. So directly we can write this one. And b multiply with r to the power 4 uh, plus c multiply with 1 by r square plus, sorry, r cube. And this one again c multiply 1 by r square and br plus b multiply 1 by r, then finally a. Uh, this one here you can take LCM 
they are r to the power 5, r to the power 4, r cube, r square, r, this is 1. So taking LCM in up to r to the power 0, 1, 2, this one will be r to the power 5. After doing multiply, this one will be 1, 1 multiply with a, this one is a. Doing mul divide, you will get here only r, r multiply with b, this is b r. And similarly, this one will be C R square plus, uh, sorry, C R cube. Uh, C R square plus B R to the power 4 plus A R to the power 5. R to the power 5. And uh, using equation number 1, what we see here? A plus B X a plus bx c r cube c r square and b r to the power 4 a r to the power 5 this final line the numerator part using equation number one we can write here zero the result of this one is zero and finally this one divided by r to the power 5 uh, what will be result here zero so p of 1 by r will be zero when r of x is a factor of p of x so completely this one will dependent on this one when r of x x minus r equals zero then this equation will be zero and applying this condition we will get here r x minus one equals to zero that's why finally you can say here so uh, if x minus r is factor of p of x then rx minus 1 will will be factor of p of x and is our requirement shown so is shown. It's one of the most important maths in exercise two algebraic expressions. So this is our final content. So if you have any questions, please do comments below the video links. Hope we'll see you again in the next content. See you again. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.